morning. If we have a credible cessation of violence and a local ceasefire, we stand ready to go in with the larger team to verify the facts on the ground. What we have verified today is that there was ongoing fighting yesterday involving mechanized unit, involving indirect fire impacts and involving helicopters. This is what we have seen from a distance of five to six kilometers. Will it be possible to verify more facts in the coming hours and days? I do not know. I sincerely hope so, because everyone, not least the Syrian people, is really served better by having these facts established. Encouraging progress is made by the parties in Deresor. We observe a significant reduction of violence and growing confidence in a possible step-by-step -step approach to stop the violence. For the sake of the Syrian people, we now need genuine and effective leadership from the Security Council. The Security Council should unite on a plan that meets the aspirations of the Syrian people and is accepted by the parties. The violence have escalated. Hence, the tool that was deployed towards the end of April is not the most relevant tool for the future. So what we are looking at now is a situation in which the political dialogue has to be brought inside Syria and we have to build on the progress that we're seeing on the ground, noting in particularly the encouraging process as we speak in Deir Ezzor. Through that dialogue and lifting it to the national level, we will then achieve a cessation of violence.